Hi guys, it is your boy Anime 100 here with some new Battlefield news and something new which I haven't done on this channel but it is some Star Wars Battlefront 3 news as well. I know that this is a Battlefield channel but when you have been g grown around, grown up around Star Wars and the Battlefront games and that the game has been your childhood uh, game, then you gotta do the news. So I thought I had to share Battlefront news with you guys. Let's get into the news and see what is going on with Battlefield and Battlefront 3 this week. Don't forget to check out my latest game on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and the link will be down in the description for you to go over to that after this video. DICE's upcoming multiplayer thriller shooter Star Wars Battlefront will not have a server browser on console. Community manager Matthew Everett shared the details on Reddit a while ago. Instead, Battlefront will make use of an unspecific skill-based matchmaking program. Star Wars Battlefront will not offer a server browser, but will unleash a new skill-based matchmaking system, Everett said his comments came in response to a question about a server browser on console. It is unclear if the PC version also will not have a server browser. Server browsers are commonly placed in B DICE's Battlefield games on both console and PC. They allow players to jump into the game type and map of their choosing, which can be nice a nice thing. In other Battlefront news, Publisher EA announced a while ago that a beta for the game will begin in early October across Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Meanwhile, the full Battlefront game launches on November 17th across all systems. So that can be good for the uh, fans of uh, Battlefront 3 and that the beta is coming out October as I just announced. All got and guys, I have pre-ordered the game so you will be seeing lots of gameplay on this channel when the game is re released in November 17th across all systems. Now on to today, I now on, I have some very good news to share with you guys to do with Battlefield 4, so here we go. Battlefield 4 may be nearly two years old, but DICE, DICE hasn't done supporting the military shooter just yet. The developer on Tuesday released the new Night Operation DLC which, as its name suggests, forces on nighttime combat. Nighttime Operation comes with a new map called Zavoid Graveyard Ship, which is based on existing Battlefield 4 map Zavoid 311. Despite taking interest from 311, Graveyard Ship is a new map that brings with it several improvements to allow for more stealthy and technical gameplay. Graveyard Shift supports a variety of Battlefield 4 modes including Conquest, Rush, Team Deathmatch, Demolition and Gunmaster. Nighttime Operation is rolling out now and is free across all platforms. Free guys, why don't you go and get it? The DLC launches today alongside Battlefield 4's huge summer patch which makes a long list of tweaks and changes to the game's vehicles, weapons and maps and modes and more. In other Battlefield 4 news, Xbox One users will, with an EA Access membership, have until September 3 to grab the Naval Strike DLC for free. So here in Australia it's the last day or maybe even is over, but over in Europe and America it is probably very close to your last day, so don't don't forget to go over there and get it. Are you still playing and enjoying Battlefield 4? Share your thoughts in the comments below if you're enjoying Battlefield 4 or whatever and playing Hardline maybe. Okay, here we go. Now on to some Battlefield Hardline DLC news. Sorry if I didn't do much on the last DLC for Criminal Activity, but I do have for you some Robbery Battlefield Hardline DLC news. So here we go. EA on Tuesday announced more deal DLC for Robber... More DLC? What? Some more DLC, yes. The 
Robbery DLC, the second expansion pack for the Cops and Robbers Shooter Battlefield Hardline, the expansion which is themed around the idea of a big scoring introducing four new maps, new 5v5 mode called Squad Heist, additional weapons and more. A quick rundown of what's included with the heist robbery. Four new maps, the Ducks, Breakpoint, Museum and Prison 7. New 5v5 game mode, Squad Heists. Four new weapons, two new gadgets, two new vehicle upgrades, new camo camos and vehicle paints, the legendary super feature. Squad Heist aims to be homage to Battlefield 4's Squad Rush but with a heist theme. The mode plays out across three distinctive stages. They are 1. Criminals take a drill, break into Vault 1 and grab the loot from the vault. 2. Criminals take a drill, break into the Vault 2 and grab the loot from the vault. Criminals run to an escaping location, call, call a helicopter and get the loot to safety. At every stage, criminals have 25 tickets or lives. If they are used up, the cops win. Robbery will be available first for Battlefield Hardline Premium members in September 2015. The DLC will be made available to everyone else later. It follows the previous released Criminal Activity DLC, which I didn't do much on, but anyway. I tried to look for some gameplay, but there wasn't much Australians that were playing the Criminal Activity, but I can try and find it for you guys if you want to. Just comment down below in the comments this section. This section, this section. And, um, yeah, section. And you can um, see some gameplay if you want to see that, if I can find some. Anyway, two additional expansions will be following Getaway Fall 2015 and Battle 2015, 2016, early 2016. So I hope you enjoyed that video that I had for you today. I hope you got all the news of from Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 4 and Battlefront Star Wars Battlefront 3. So I hope you enjoyed guys, thanks for watching this news update for the games. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been your boy Anime 100, I am over and out. Thanks for watching, see you later. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time with some Battlefield 4 news and gameplay. Bye guys.